Tower. Alright, let's get to it. Alrighty. Hey guys, Pedguin here. And today we are playing the traditional mage playthrough. Traditional means we're going to be going with the traditional um, playthrough settings. As in, I can only use damaging weapons um, with the words magic damage. So if they say something like ranged damage, melee damage, then I can't use it. But as long as it has the words ma mage damage, I can use it. I'm also going to be starting off with a wand of sparking instead of my... Um, Copper short sword to start us off. I already explained this to the Twitch chat guys, but I'm explaining it for the tubers right now. Um, we've got a nice sto uh, spawn area. I kind of like this. I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna start off by making like an infinite house, just fill the NPCs. I'm a wizard. I'm allowed to do that, right? Wizardy stuff, you know. Oh snap! Jenkins, nine months in a row. Thank you for your continued spot, Jenkins. That's a lot of months. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And once. Once I, I, I've got enough resources, I'm going to be making a wizard's tower out of, um, like, uh, all sorts of stones. I'm going to be using the heavy workbench to, to get some cool materials. So I'm going to be waiting until I get some materials before I start doing that stuff. Hub bag, that's good. That's a good start. I'm, I'm probably going to be fishing in this let's play, so we might get the angler and stuff like that. This is going to be a much more chilled and relaxed let's play where we actually... Die! Oh, it does fire damage? I didn't know. I've not actually used this weapon before. I'm going to be honest. How much mana does this use? Two mana. So we can use it quite a lot, considering we only have one mana star. Boom, boom. And we've got an Agler, or baby. And some lead bars and some other stuff. That's kind of cool. Is this expert mode? Yes, this is expert mode. We're going to be playing expert mode throughout this playthrough. So, yeah. That's going to be cool. We've got some root. That's good. Um, where should I put the um, infinite house? We're just going to start with an infinite house because you know how playthroughs end up going. You make a house and then you think... Yeah, you make you make a house, right? And then you just build from that house, right? So I'm going to make a infinite house and then I'm going to wait until I get all the va valuable resources and then I'm going to make a really, really nice house once I've got the resources that I want. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing it like that. Because I'm probably going to get the painter. I'm going to start painting and doing all that fancy stuff. Ugh! That was close. So I'll probably build the infinite house like... I don't know. Anywhere. Maybe where these trees are down here. Just to start it off. Are you Harry Potter pet? Yeah, these new glasses. These new glasses are what make me a wizard. Oh yeah, that's that's true. The the YouTubers, for those people that don't watch, watch on Twitch, they're not going to know what these glasses are all about. Um, for those of you that have watched quite a lot of me um you probably are aware that i get headaches every now and again quite often and I, I went to opticians and they said i needed glasses and it's not so much my eyesight isn't good it's so much that my eyes are straining when they don't need to essentially that's what they told me like my eyes would just strain when they don't need to and that that would cause headaches migraines and just stuff like that because normally, when you're looking at, like, things that are close to you, um... Oh! Ruva! Thank you so much for subscribing! Welcome to the Penguin Globe, not to be confused with the Penguin! I hope you enjoy your stay! Throw some hearts in the chat, you guys know what to do! Um... You, like... For for things that are quite close to your to your face, your eyes shouldn't be straining. But for some reason, my eyes, like, strain when things are quite close to me. And the doctors were just like... Here's some glasses. They should fix it. So, there we go. Voila! And hopefully we can live happily ever after. Is it this big? Oh my god, I can't even remember how I built this house. Is it like this? I think it's like this. I think I might may have made it way too large though. I'm too short here. And this isn't wide enough. Oh god, I can't even remember to build the infinite house. Is this it? Hopefully this is it. Well, we'll we'll see anyway. We can redesign it. The infinite house isn't going to be in the game forever. In Terraria 1.3.1, they are going to be, um, they're going to be changing it up. I look. I really like this wand of sparking. It's cute, and it sometimes inflicts burn damage quite randomly. Shoots a small spark. It's I don't know how often it does it. It's like I don't know, one out of ten times it will just shoot out a flaming bolt, and then cause some flame damage. Unless that's coming from somewhere else that I'm not so sh sure about. 
but it's kind of cool, kind of cool. Need platforms on the edges, like this. Oh no, that's not it. I think it only needs one. I think that's good though, like that. It penetrates as well, this is awesome. This is an awesome weapon. Oh my god, I'm gonna die already? No! I don't have any- I don't have any mana! Protect me, guide! Alright. We should go explore anyway. We don't need to kill these munchkins. We've got loads of slime. We'll be fine. Come on. Come on, guide. Protect me! Ugh. Damn it, the fire didn't do anything because he's sitting in water. What a scrub. Alright, sir. Du -du -dun -dun. Will you use the Wand of Sparking against the Moon Lord? Yeah, sure, why not? This is a mage playthrough, not a wand, wand of Sparking only playthrough. I'll probably replace this Wand of Sparking in the future. You guys know that. This is a really cool weapon, I like it. And I feel like starting off with a Wand of Sparking is so much better than like running to get a water bowl and then shooting one water bowl out and running out of mana and then having to run around and wait for my mana to reach. I don't know, I feel like this is a lot better way of doing it. Oh wow, this is a nice divider of the corruption. Um, I'll go to the right side of the world now just to check it out and stuff. We'll see. You're a wizard, Pedguin. Do I need 50 gold for the merchants moving? That would be a, that that would be good for, te for testing our house. Um, do a sword playthrough in the future? Possibly, yeah. I don't know if that'll be expert mode though, because sword playthrough is a bit. It used to be like a, a viable class. I mean, if I did a melee playthrough, I could do a melee only playthrough, and then I use use yo-yos the whole time, right? I think that'd be possible. I don't need much more wood. I don't know, I feel like I should like, collect all the... When I see a tall tree, I gotta grab a tall tree, you know what I mean? You built the house wrong? It doesn't need to be exact. But as long as I got the key points of the house correct. I haven't made a house like that since my video, pretty much. Or one of my playthroughs, I can't remember. I think I streamed me myself making one at some point. Some point in time. Geronimo! At least we found a cave down here. No wood. I spelled that like lewd. Spooky. Don't know why that's spooky. Oh. Oh. There we go. And another spear. Well, this is just giving us stuff to sell, which is fine because you need you need quite a lot of um, money on a mage playthrough. Hey, what the heck? This better lead somewhere. Oh no, it led to sand. There's got to be a way past this sand. I'm telling you, all right? I'm telling you. There's always a way past sand. I'm telling you, all right? Always. Wait, can I use this um staff to look through walls? No, I don't think I can. It's not one of those staffs. You can do it with other stuff. Hey, see, the, 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 the infinite house is working. For all you doubters out there. For all you doubters out there. No, test me, Pedguin. God dang it. There's a lot of people in chat, all right? Chill your beans. And we need sand anyway in the future. Bombs? Use the bombs. I don't have bombs. Oh, snap. We got another one pound donation from Molten Guy. And he says, do a melee playthrough, but forbid yourself from using yo-yos or flail since you've already done playthroughs on those items, Pedheart. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. A melee playthrough on normal mode, it wouldn't be that hard. But on expert mode, it'd be quite hard. Like, hmm. So I'll be able to use spears, I'll be able to use swords, I'll be able to use boomerangs, I guess, technically. I don't know. I'm not so sure. It's kind of a vague category at the moment, because if you want to play expert mode, it's going to be really, really difficult. For example, doing expert mode mage playthrough, and doing, um, and doing an expert mode range playthrough is like... That's good because it's like, it's obviously beatable. It's not like, I don't know. I know it's possible and stuff, but it's kind of just, I think it gets to a point where it can like make it like not as fun if you if you set the rules too hard. Oh, there's some sapphire up here. 
I need to collect um, 140 cobweb in total to start getting robes and stuff. So I'm going to need to keep an eye out for, for cobwebs. I do see a shack down there, by the way, guys. I'm not blind. <laughs> I can imagine people in chat right now like, There's a chest down there! Gotta get it, Red Grin! Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just looking around first, exploring my options. And you guys want to start making bets on how long it's going to take for, for me to die. And whoever wins will get like a pony or something. You guys can start taking bets on that. I've got a hundred pounds on one episode. <laughs> GG. Oh, the demolitionist already. Easy as pie. All the NPCs. Because I'm a wizard, I can do these things, you see. If, I, if, if this was a ranged playthrough, I wouldn't be able to make an infinite house, right? Kappa Kappa. Oh, an anvil. Free anvil. Give me that. Give me that money as well. Don't mind if I do. Flagon. Wow, it says two damage. Wait, did they change the pre- like... It just says two damage. It doesn't say two range damage. Did they change that? When did they change that? I swear it never said that before. It used to say range damage, right? Am I just imagining things, guys? A flare gun isn't really a weapon anyway. It's more of a way of life. Or, I should say... Ow! <laughs> Look how difficult it is to fight these things. <laughs> Bleeding munchkins. Is there a way down here? I can't tell. This cave has been... something. I'll give it that. I mean, at least it's led somewhere, right? The amount of caves that just lead to a dead end. At least we've got several chests in this cave, you know? No, it always, it always said just two damage. Oh, interesting. My mind is playing tricks on me. Yay, pretzel map in chat. Oh, yeah, the... What? You didn't know the link to the pretzel map? It was in the video, you sausage. Look at all that topaz down there. That's awesome. Mountain guy donates one pound and says one pound on episode two. What? <laughs> God dang it! Are you gonna try and like donate one pound per episode? Well, in that case, I'll make a thousand episodes, and that way I'll have a thousand pounds. <laughs> God dang it, Mountain guy! Can't tell a troll. Is it just me as Twitch delay less than it was since we last time was here? Maybe, possibly. I'm not so sure. Maybe because YouTube are doing the, the streaming thing. Even though it's not really d gone very well. I don't know. The YouTube thing hasn't hit off yet. I'm sure YouTube will do some advertising and stuff like that in the future or whatever. Try and, try and kick off their streaming service a bit more. I'm sure. Um, but maybe they're trying to like up their game just in case YouTube does become a contender for battling. You know. Because YouTube is pretty good at, at the, the whole whole thing. Maybe Twitch are afraid. Afraid! Twitch delay is ruthless. Maybe. I'm not sh sure how, how long it is currently. You can right click the, the screen and, and go on video playback settings and see how long the delay is. Obviously if you're on YouTube that's not going to work. Do you play Clash of Clans? Mm, I've heard of it, but I don't play it. Dig all the way to hell. Hey, I'm getting some mad loot, alright? I've got... Where are my topaz? Did I even pick up the topaz? Where is it? I'm as blind as a bat, alright? This is why I need glasses, guys, you know? Ten topaz, alright. <laughs> okay, I wasn't the... I wasn't the first one. I heard you missed the midlord. I see something over here, but I'm not so sure. I also see... Is that topaz in the wall? We're gonna get a hook so early on. Clash of Clans is stupid? Well, I don't play it. Someone in chat was talking about it. I have seen people use the Shield of Cthulhu even though it's melee. Will you use it? Yeah, because it's not a melee weapon. It's just an accessory. I, I say accessory. It's like saying, you know, the, the thing that shoots stars from the sky? You know that? That's technically magic, right? So that's like saying, you can't use that, or, you know, it's just people being picky. The, the Shield of Cthulhu is what makes Expert Mode fun, you know? If I took away the Expert... If I took away the Shield of Cthulhu from this run, I'd rather... I'd just play, like, normal mode. Expert Mode is fun because of the Shield of Cthulhu, you know? It's like... That's why they made it the first, um... Item you get from a boss. Because it's the best item from the boss. They, they put it there for fun. And that's what it is. Oh, I just realized we, we've got a Corrupted World. So we're gonna get, um... 
the uh, the better thingamajiggy. The eater of worlds. The worm scarf. There we go. Got there in the end, lads. Only took us 25 years. How much? Oh, we got enough sapphire for a hook. Already. Oh, and look what we found. All right. First things first. I can't put it here because of this back wall. Do you mind, back wall? Can't you see I'm trying to live here? Just let me live. Sapphire hook, boys. Got a sapphire hook already. Shoe spikes. Don't mind if I do. Boom, 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 boom. Got enough cobweb for the um everything. The uh, the robes, I think. I do believe we just need a loom now. Which also requires a sawmill. Also our first Stay away, slimes. Stay away. This, this weapon has no knockback. What do I do? What do I do in this situation? Um throw some hearts in the chat for the, the first heart crystal of the day. Even if you're on even if you're on YouTube, throw some hearts in the chat. <laughs> throw some hearts in the comments. How about that? Does that does that work? Is the lingo there? Huh. I'm just gonna grab all the ore. I think I might start grabbing some copper as well. Because I'm gonna make some copper plating for the roof of the um the the house we're making. We're gonna make a, a tower. Oh, stars are landing. Might have to go to the surface. Shall we go to the surface to get some stars? This is a mage playthrough at the end of the day, guys. Alright, let's take all this stuff. Look at all these statues. I mean, they may, might be pretty cool, especially on a mage playthrough. Alright, let's go back up to the surface. There's, there's all sorts of stuff we can search down here later on. Alright. Crystals, where art thou? Oh, look, there they are. <laughs> Oh snap! We got Cobra Man two months in a row. Thank you for your continued spot, Cobra Man. Welcome back to the Penguin Club. Not to be confused, Club Penguin. I hope you enjoy your stay. You are now a continued pet head for another month. Thank you very much, dude. Stay back, foul beast. I need a mage uh, weapon with some knockback, you know? Give me that. Do I have enough now? It's three, right? Yeah, it is. Boom! There we go. Our first mana crystal. Throw some mana crystals in the And there's no such thing. There's no such thing as mana crystals in the chat. Oh, snap! We got Bued Star! Wait, we're collecting stars and you just hope happen to subscribe. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Penguin Club. Don't speak confused, Club Penguin. I hope you enjoy your stay. We're now a pet head. Thank you, dude. A new subscriber. Throw some hearts in the chat. You guys know what to do. <laughs> this is such a bad weapon, but it's so fun at the same time. Of course it's the, a bad weapon, it's the weakest mage weapon in the game. But it's a, fu it's a fun weapon, it's a fun and cute weapon. Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. 1% more damage, oh you better watch out! Oh, where's it landing? To the right I think, unless my earphones are in the wrong way around. That's happened before, alright? I'm sure some of you remember. Oh look at all that. Oh my god, these ones have swords! What do? But I'm hearing so much stars in the... Oh my goodness, that guy did like 50 damage to me. Get out of here! Shall we take some cactus? Is cactus the way of the wizard? Wizards. What's the? What's that wizard in like... Harry... Uh, not Harry Potter. <laughs> you mean Harry? <laughs> no, I meant the, the, the Gandalf's friend. That weird one. Oh god! I'm out of here! All right. <laughs> that that weird that weird Radagast is that his name? Is that his name? I don't even know. There we go. Wait, where's the demolitionist? Oh, is that? They're all just piled on top of each other. Oh wait, are they? Wait, they are. There we go. You guys have anything for me? I don't even know what I want from you guys. Alright, time to sell all the me melee weapons. This is the best part about class specific let's play. Is you can just sell everything that has no meaning to your like class. So I can sell all these arrows. I can sell everything, right? It's so cool. 
and just be like, I don't need this. Get out of here. I don't need throwing knives. Get out of here. You know, that's the best part about it. You get so much more money. I'm going to take a piggy bank. And shall I take a, um... Oh, I can't afford that. Hmm. Is there any way I can afford it? No, I need all my gems. And I need... I need pretty much everything. Oh, shurikens. Bombs. There we go. Anything else I need to sell? Some vine rope that I have for no reason. I kind of want to sell this. But even if I sell it, I can't get anything. I guess the 1% damage is good enough for the time being. It's daytime! Alright, uh, can I make a topaz staff? Can I? Can I make one already? I thought I need... Oh, I want a heavy workbench. I'm gonna want. I'm gonna want to use that in the future. You can actually make some pretty neat stuff with a, a workbench like that. For example, a toll gate. Check this out. Oh, baby. Oh, I wanna. I really wanna use it. I can do like I don't know. Pretend. I might. I might do that in my like house. That'd be pretty cool, right? <laughs> so interesting. But yeah, we're going to use that for something else later. I should have got more cactus when I had the chance. Uh, t -t -t Do we need to make anything else? We should make a furnace, of course. For those of you that are thinking, why is he making an infinite house? I'll be making a wizard's tower in the future. It's gonna look all gangster and stuff. I'm kind of curious on where to do it. I might make it on like the top of this hill, like drain the water. Then, I don't know, like, I don't know, try and be creative or something, you know? Make it on like a top of a, a cool hill and whatnot. And then we have a way to the underground just below us. I think that'd be pretty cool. Do you think? Maybe. Copper tin for a topaz staff. Uh, so I do need to collect copper. Oh, some more magic. Sure, why not? Do we not have any lead? Why is it not showing? Oh, it's all the way. All the way over here. I'll collect a fishing pole for the time being. I'm gonna need it regardless. You swines! Alright, let's put our money in here. First things first. And we'll get a bug net while we're at it. Because we're going to need to do that sort of stuff anyway. Alright, so what should we throw away? We'll put statues in here for the time being. And we'll put chests and um, stone uh, blocks and just stuff like that in here. Oh, Bob Saget. Okay, that's better. And we'll put potions in this one. A bag and ingredients in that one. This will get more full in the future. It may seem I'm being a bit iffy with my block placement in here, but it will it will make sense in the future. All right, let's get one of the chests, just a regular chest. Hey Python, nice to see you, buddha. Playing, love playing as a mage. Yeah, mage is awesome. Mage is one of the best classes. Oh my goodness, where's that gone? It's gone somewhere. Uh, boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna throw all the gem uh, gems in here for the time being. I'll keep the cobweb. Oh, actually, I need to make a sawmill. We'll do that real quick. Because we're going to need a loom to make our wizard robes. And I do believe we have enough... Um, enough um, cobweb for the actual robes. So that's nice. Oh my goodness, that slime just killed like a lot of things apparently. Come here, you little bugger! I'm glad they introduced a, a very early game wizard thing. 
Okay, at least I look the part. I thought that was a golden one then. Got all excited. Um, t -t -t -t. Wait, can I actually make anything if I get the topaz? How much gems is it? Oh, I can. Oh, baby. It's perfect. Yes, the perfect amount. So, increase mana by 40 and reduce mana usage by 7%. Perfect. That's pretty good. Doesn't give us any more damage or anything fancy, but, you know, we're, we're, we're looking cool. There we go. Alright. Amy the nurse. You little cutie. What you doing up there? Alright, let's go under underground. Yeah, this is the way. Topaz robes looking good.